Today is December 20th, 2021. It is 6.29. We have about 35 seconds until the market is going to open. Today I'm going to be looking at US 30 and the NASDAQ, mainly focus on the minute 15 and the minute 5 time frame. The markets and zones are open before we open up on the market. I missed. Just in my golden zone marked up here. Go oh, markets about open at five, four, three, two, one. Market open. With me, I like to wait about five to ten minutes to see a setup. I'm not going to take a setup for the first five to ten minutes. So we're just going to watch the market at this point in time and see what's up. All right, guys, it looks like I'm about to see a setup on the minute five on US 30. I want this candle to close the pin bar. In the five minute, we have about nine seconds left, so we can do that. Um, we'll take it short. It doesn't give me the perfect setup that I want, but I'm not going to take it. Yeah, it didn't close how I wanted, so I'm going to just sit out on this trade. Might break, but yeah, see, it looks like it's going to break, but I just don't trust that trade. It's not my perfect setup, and I'm not going to force a trade. Also, one reason why I am recording myself trading is to hold myself accountable to only take all these setups. It did look like it did break that support. We would have been a profit if we took it, but like I said, guys, didn't feel like taking that trade, didn't feel like it was a one. And as well with that, um, I'm taking three trades per week right now. So I'm not rushing my trades, not forcing any trades. If another setup's gonna come, we'll, we'll take it. That would have been a really nice trade. We would have been up um, 1,000 pips in literally one minute, less than a minute. <laughs> but it's okay, guys. There's plenty of other setups in the market. When you see a trade like this, you're like, oh, I missed it. Let me get in now. Don't do that. Just wait. There's going to be plenty more setups. And one thing that's really powerful as a trader, if you can do this, you're going to see a lot of success is being able to walk away from the markets because just because you show up every day doesn't mean there's going to be a setup every day. That's something that I've learned to do over the past couple of months is like, you know what? My trade wasn't there. That's perfectly fine. Come back the next day. If there isn't a setup, cool. Come back the next day. If there's a setup, boom. Because I want to look at the markets and see my high probability trade. Like, oh my gosh, that's that trade that I've been waiting for all week. And I want to get all gooey and excited inside. Like, all right, there it is. I know this trade's going to have a high payout. And that's when I want to take it. But if it's a trade like this, I'm going to just sit back, be cool, do my thing. You might have saw confirmation maybe on the one minute time frame, but I'm only trading on the five minute up. I'm not trading on the one minute anymore. There's too much going on, too much noise on that time frame. Go and look at NAS too. NAS is just been chopping. There's an open in the market. Shot up and shot down and shot up, shot down. There's really a lot of noise going on right now. And NASDAQ. Yeah, I'm focused on the five minute and the 15 right now. So definitely staying off NAS right now. There's days too where US 30 will just be so flawless and smooth. And then other days where NAS will just be so choppy like today. And then there's other days where NAS really smooth and perfect setups. And then US 30 is choppy. It is the last week of this year too. So the markets may be a little bit wacky. I'm waiting for the new year to really see some nice setups. I'll be back in game mode. I'm not broke. That's important. Yeah, so 
that support hasn't been broken. If we could break that, maybe we'll see her hit to this golden zone and then a retest right around here. So let's see if we can get that. And if we can't get a setup like that, then I think we're just gonna walk away for the day. Only reason I didn't take this trade is because the body closed bullish. Even though we have this long wick, the body still closed bullish. You guys saw for a second when it had that super low body and it closes the pin bar. That's where I was like, all right, this trade's gonna tank. But that's why I didn't take that trade. The body was just a little big for me. And that's why I didn't work. But if I did take it, ideally my stops would have been right above the wick right there, about 600 pips of loss. It took L and then my TP would have been at this golden zone a little bit below it for around 800 pips where I would have targeted this um, previous low right here. That would have been my ideal setup for that trade. It's okay to walk away, guys. It's okay to not take a trade for the day. I want you guys to understand that it is okay. There's going to be plenty of more setups. I'm documenting all this stuff so you guys can see. Now, it looks like there's a setup on mass, but honestly, that wick is just so fat. I'm gonna pass on that. That's an 800 pip stop loss. I'm not gonna take that trade. Could be a nice buy. We rejected the 200 DMA. Could go up to this golden zone, but it's a lot of could is, and that risk is just ginormous. I'm straight on that. So that five minute candle just closed, new five minute candle open. Maybe would have taken a short too, seeing that our bias is already down, but stops would have been 700 pips. I'm not trying to take a trade with a 700 pip stop loss. That means I'm gonna have to scale down on my lot size. And that's why I wanna find that perfect setup where I have a risk of like 300, 400 pips max. And I could just drop a fat lot size and see a nice rejection off of that zone where I enter. So right now it looks like as well on the stochastics it is oversold looking at my other monitors so we could see it come up to maybe like these zones if we bring the fibs up yeah, if we could see it looks like it's already retracing passing equilibrium maybe we could see a retrace of the 6270579 and then a drop so at this point, I want to see like a reversal candle, not on this candle, maybe on the next candle closes the doji of spinning top, so like that, and we can ride it down to the first two right here. So if we can see that, we can find a dope little setup on this thing. We didn't take that mass trade, it would have been negative right now. This is just a bunch of BS, guys. You don't want to be trading when it's going down and up, down and up. You want to see a nice move. Like, US 30 is moving pretty nice. We could have taken that five minute candle right here at the market open, but I don't trade the market open. That's not me. Also, what I'm doing too is I'm not entering a trade when the candle is currently open. I wait for that candle to close with maybe a couple seconds left. That's when I get my confirmation and I enter my trade. I'm not like, oh, we're two minutes into the candle. Let me just enter now. Nah, you always gotta wait for the candle to close to get confirmation. You're currently trading and you're doing that where you're entering while the candle is still moving. You're messing up guys.
Might see a setup occur right here. If we can see this king of clothes bullish as a hammerhead, then we'll take it. I'm not gonna be dropping too big of a lot. One-to-one -one risk. As this dropped, I'm definitely trailing my stop loss very aggressively. We have support right over here. We're sitting at so if we can break it, it should start to make its way down even more today. Said I'm showing myself super aggressively on this trade. 200 pips in profit plus. Honestly, about to take my profits off the table just because I wasn't fully confident in this trade and we had a massive stop. So I'm closing with a quick 200 pip profit. Since I did already take one trade today, I think I'm gonna walk away from the markets just because we're already pretty much oversold on this market and it's most likely gonna look for a reversal soon. I did take my one trade and like I said earlier, I'm taking a retrade for the week. So I'm gonna wait and see tomorrow if I can see a better setup. With me too, I am more of a short trader. So I like going short versus long. I just, the setups are so much more clear to me when the markets are going short versus long. So we could probably see a reversal soon around like 7, 15 a.m. So I'm gonna walk away from the markets. Today was a profitable day. Happy that we came out with profits. Yeah.